Hello, and this is Servagos with another video uh, introducing the KGW gun. This is a gas blowback 1911. It is full metal and it's a really nice weight. It was extremely realistic. Um, I, I enjoy this gun a lot. Now let's go over some basic features. The handguard is is really good. It's a great grip. You know, it's it's very good for like if your hands are sweaty during a match or you, you, it's raining outside and you just need a good grip on the gun this really helps the trigger is very nice on the finger it's not hard to operate very easy the safety system is also good we have the safety system here and you also have the safety on if, if you even if you're left-handed you're able to operate the gun safety just like that uh, I'm right-handed though so it's much easier on this side for me. We also have the common 1911 feature which has the safety embedded into the grip. So just right here, push it down and I'm able to pull the trigger. Really cool feature in my opinion that they've added to it. You can't shoot the gun without having your hand like this on the gun. Now we're going to look at the sights. Now these sights are incredibly good. These are really good for low light conditions, uh, even if you're in a dark room, I don't have a trouble seeing my sights. Uh, let me just open this up. As you can see, the gun dismantles like a real gun. Okay, we're now going to take a look inside now. You have your air nozzle here, your recoil system, and you adjust the hop up right here. If I can get a good zoom in on that. But you adjust your hop-up right here. I'm going to make a video on that one day on how to adjust your hop-up. This is to make the BBs either to go up or down or straight depending on, on the distance that you're expecting to be shooting at. Let me put this back on. Very easy to operate gun by the way and easy to dismantle and assemble. Now, finding replacements for this gun is fairly easy. They actually give you a little handbook of the different components and parts of the gun. So if you were to break the gun or drop it or break anything, honestly, you, you can find the part that's broken, find the model number, and you can order it from the actual company, which is it's pretty hard to find these days, especially if, if you're buying a, an airsoft gun. Now, we're going to go to magazines. Now the magazine that it comes with is a green gas magazine. Now it's a pretty nice magazine. It fits in, fits in great. Uh, it is, it, it is a metal magazine too. So it's, it's a full metal case, which is a good realistic weight to it. Now for those people that don't like using green gas, do not worry. If you buy your gun from evike.com, you have the choice of ordering a CO2 magazine. Now, they actually gave you a deal that if you buy the gun from them, you can get this for an extra $10 from their website, which is a pretty good deal since these magazines cost around $30, $30 to $35 uh, from most retailers. Now, this gun does work with CO2. This is not a third-party magazine. This is made by KGW. Um, however, when you compare the two magazines, the CO2 mag is a little thicker at the bottom. Not that big of a deal, honestly, because when you put it in the gun, it feels about the same weight as the green gas magazine. But in my honest opinion, I do enjoy using the CO2 magazine a little bit more because CO2 is a little bit easier to come by than green gas. Now, for those people that don't want to buy a CO2 magazine or don't want to use CO2, you can use propane. As your green gas you just need to buy an adapter and you have to put silicon inside the adapter which lubricates the, ins uh, the inside of the gun when you use it that that is one downside of co2 is that if you use your co2 excessively on the gun it could damage the internals of the gun it's not recommended that you overuse it however if you if you lubricate your gun and take good care of it you shouldn't have a problem with co2 but sometimes using green gas or propane with silicon is a good idea with your, your airsoft gun if you happen to be using that a lot during an airsoft war. 
Now, the capacity on these magazines are extremely good. I found find around 28 rounds of BBs in each of these magazines are, are, are pretty reasonable you, without stressing the, the, the springs at all. Um, however, I will explain how to use the, the CO2 mag and the green gas mag in other videos. Uh, how to take it apart, put the CO2 and all that. Now, let's get back to the gun. This is an extremely good gun for its price, which was around 120 I believe, with the 10 bucks extra for the magazine plus shipping. So it was around 135 140 uh, I never really spent that much on the gun. Actually, no, that's not true. But um, this gun was worth every single penny I got it for. I, I had a lot of fun with it. I played with my friends a lot. Uh, they, they said it's a pretty cool gun to play with too. I let them try it out. Um, for, for, for the money, it is definitely worth it. For those people that are contemplating on buying it, go ahead, man. It is going to be worth your money. Here's a quick overview of the gun, the magazines. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, I will be making um, a sh uh, ma videos on the magazines and how to use them. And I'm also going to be making a video on test shooting it outside, accuracy shooting and all of that. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please comment in the section below and like the video, subscribe to my channel, and request any videos that, that, you, that you would like to see about the gun. Have a good day, Silver Ghost out.